We've been unloading our cases. My dog was barking like crazy. And we arrived in Barcelona and realized I left a bag with a brand new Mac laptop at the station. It was 11 o'clock at night. Welcome to my channel. Another beautiful day here in Valencia. I am in front of North Station. Today, I'm here in the center where the city is getting ready for fires. Actually, fires just started. This is the biggest fiesta here in Valencia. Right now, I want to talk about a special ride I had from Valencia to Barcelona, a train ride, a fast speed train ride. I'll take you inside the station. It's a beautiful station. You can purchase your tickets there or in one of these machines or online. Check this out. Isn't this amazing? Our train stations in the States are not like that. that. That's how much I can tell you. I've been traveling with, um, with the train in the US when I was going to school in Carlsbad. Every weekend, I was leaving my car at the parking lot and taking the train from Oceanside to LA. It was comfortable. I can't say it wasn't. But the experience, for some reason, it's better here. Maybe because everything is just more scenic and affordable. We have two train stations here in Valencia. One is called um, Joaquin Soroya, about 10-15 minutes from here. And this is the main north station. There are some even international trains taking off from here. But I wanted to talk about my experience on the train. It was amazing. I really enjoyed traveling on train because you have all the time to read, work, And if you book your tickets in advance, they're actually very inexpensive. Even the regular fare, not this special fare that they have. And they have a cafeteria where you can buy anything pretty much. The most important things you need to remember are getting here on time, just arrive about 30 minutes earlier because there could be a line forming before check-in. You have to check, not check-in, but they need to check your luggage. Uh, through an x-ray machine and then you get on the train there is a special compartment to put your luggage if that's not enough there is an overhead compartment which are, it's just plenty of space it's very comfortable they even offer headsets they play some movie but if not they're plugs for your own um, laptop and you can just enjoy your ride they come to your uh, seat and offer food and drinks of course, I mean, it's a, it's a train food, but it's not bad. I tried that. It's not, you know, nothing, um, nothing special, but you have some sandwiches. Okay, so this menu, this is um, tuna with egg sandwich, chips and beer for 7 euro 60. Spain actually has the longest railway in the world. They're second in the world after China. It is amazing to see how many options they have and how you can you can pick a better transportation better than taking a, a cheap uh, airplane but what's fascinating is that right now Spain are moving into a more green way of uh, transportation and right now probably with everything that's going on in the world and fuel getting expensive and they're just coming up with a new uh, system where their regular trains which are still fairly priced in my opinion are gonna get even better and cheaper they just came with a new one called uh, avlo which is part of renfe they are just lowering the price and competing with france which came up with a cheaper version of that for nine euro i believe and right now avlo is competing for seven euro you can go from valencia to madrid and they're expanding the line to Barcelona, Zaragoza, and a few other cities, and also Alicante and in the south, which is fantastic. So this is going to have more people traveling like that. And there are also a lot of people that 
actually just go and work in Madrid and come back to Valencia because the train ride is super fast. And on our way, when we first arrived in 2019 from Madrid to Barcelona, it was such a hectic ride on the train. We had so much luggage. We've been loading our cases. My dog was barking like crazy. We arrived in Barcelona and realized I left a bag with a brand new Mac laptop at the station. It was 11 o'clock at night. A friend of ours advised me not to call, but just go back to Madrid. And I did. And guess what? The bag was there at Lost and Found at the train station in Madrid. I don't know if this was, if this would have happened in Barcelona. I'm not sure if they would have returned the bag to me with the laptop, but in Madrid, this was the case and I was very pleasantly surprised. But my train to the ride to Barcelona was about two hours and 40 minutes. Very enjoyable, it's really scenic. It's, it's just completely pleasant. If you want to find out how my ride went and what my first impressions of Barcelona are, check my video here and enjoy what I discovered, what I liked and what I disliked in Barcelona.